Sunday's Keys of the Game brought to you by Williamsburg Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Visit them at their Richmond Road location here in Williamsburg or online at WilliamsburgAuto.com. UVA controls the tip. We are underway on a Wednesday night in Williamsburg as Virginia works around the perimeter. Looks like William Mary's deploying the early 2-3 zone to try to pack the paint a little bit. A little quick foul. Amako Google Hamilton again in her first season as head coach at UVA. Spent two successful seasons at Missouri State and familiar with the Commonwealth as she was assistant at VCU in Old Dominion as Riley Casey sneaks free underneath and it gets the reverse two to go. Some good touch there by Casey to understand where she is around the bucket to be able to make that, make that layup go in. Near steal for William and Mary, and they'll actually save it. It's a nice play by Bellamy. Frisbee Smith wasn't ready for it underneath, but will step it to a jump shot that's a little strong. McGee fighting for the offensive rebound. She ties it up. Said coach for William and Mary, Aaron Dickerson Davis, her first season at William and Mary, and they've won two of their last three. A whistle. And it was a travel violation on the inbound against Rebecca Frisbee Smith. She took a step. It's Rebecca Frisbee Smith. As well, the first team foul against the Tribe. Burnell loses the ball out of bounds. Try to get a quick one again on Rebecca Frisbee-Smith. And just dribbled it out of bounds for the turnover. Casey looking for the back door again as it poked away. And it will be cleaned up by McKenna Dale. Some good on-ball defense there by Taylor Volliday that last possession to be able to uh, complete the steal on the, on the entry pass there and be able to get the extra possession for UVA. Inside, and that's going to be an offensive foul. All five of the starters for UVA come to Virginia out of the transfer portal. Two for Marquette, one from UConn, one from Notre Dame, and one for Brown as Sidney Wagner gets inside again. So William Mary's got two buckets in close to start. Yeah, it just looks like Wagner just got lost on the little back screen. You can really see that uh, UVA works real hard on the glass, make sure they're getting bodies on bodies as the shot go up, and then attacking it once it hits the rim. So uh, that, that's, that's how you get those type of numbers and get seventh in the nation for rebounding. This will be the third chance here for UVA on this possession. Volade drives, gets to the rack, and lays it in. He's able to get to the lane, use our Euro step to be able to get a little closer, and nice little underhand scoop layup for the two. Near turnover here, and it will be as hustling forward as Valaday. She tries to beat everybody down the floor. Gets a little bit too far underneath the basket. That's no good, and Frisbee Smith. It's Caden Lawson. B. Bellamy, long two. Got it! Three coming off her best game of the season. A double-double before fouling out against Coppin State. Valaday across midcourt, and UVA sets up. Burnell, step through. Got it. She returned to Charlottesville to come home from Rutgersville, Virginia. Spent three seasons playing for the Irish of Notre Dame. Madison McGee going to work. And she's got the range on that. It's a really good move there by Madison McGee. A little shimmy on the uh, drop step to be able to get a nice two there. That's a good move. Nice post move there. Four for five for William and Mary to start from the field at 80%. Burnell open in the corner for three. She's got two of those. And that puts UVA back on top. We seesaw here in the early going. Yeah, some good, basco some good basketball being played here today. Wagner looking for the answer. That's too strong. And this will push a break here for UVA if they want it. They'll take it up ahead, and the layup goes. Wagner driving, kicks back. Frisbee Smith thought about it. Back to the lane, and she's got two more. It's a free-flowing offensive game here in the first five minutes. Burnell wants her third three. She's feeling it. And then at Norfolk State, another 2 o'clock game to close non-conference play on December 21st. Kayla Roth off the inbound has the jumper to go, and she's really picked it up for William Mayer here of late. It's been real good to have her back this season. She's been uh, playing very well for us, and uh, more plays being made out there tonight. Spinning through the lane is Miller, and that jumper goes. 
Langer back in for William & Mary, goes to work. Kicks back for a long two from Kayla Roth, that hits the back of the iron. For the shot clock and game clock, but it has been fixed. McLean off the inbound will lay it in. Wagner open for a three, that's short. Winger's on trying to fight for it, but she'll be the last to touch it out of bounds. Make this a, a, a good one. Miller around the screen is fouled. Has now played in 10 of the 11 games for UVA. She's in her fourth year at UVA, appeared in 62 games with 58 starts. And she'll miss them both, wow. But they get the rebound to keep the possession alive. We've got a whistle and the clock. Two, and that got off in time. It didn't hit the rim. William Mary has gone cold from the field and is in a little bit of a scoring drought over the last three and a half minutes. Casey driving, looking to change that. Can't get it to go. Tribe look like they're back in one of their zones. Drive here for Smith. Too strong. Rebound McLean. That's a travel. Two UVA players had it. Good team basketball being played out here. Everybody getting some touches and some shots. Wagner around a screen. Five to shoot. Her hook shot short. UVA gets the rebound, and they will dribble out the horn. And that is how the first quarter will come to an end. And chucking it up the court to try to get some easy uh, transition points. Nice play by Frisbee Smith. Just took it away. Wagner gets a screen, now she's double teamed. Inside for Madison McGee. And a nice move on the post from her, two more. It's a really good move there by Madison. He's gonna pass it back up top to Yonta Vaughn, who will drive to the basket and lay it in off the square. Both teams trade baskets in the early going of the second quarter. Bellamy along two, got it, Bree. Feeling it in the mid-range here tonight. Being able to knock down that mid-range jumper, I think that can make her a real uh, hard-to-stop player on the offensive end. Vaughn in and out. McLean gets the rebound. McLean, the UConn transfer. UVA after spending a season and a half at UConn. Swings it into the corner to Frisbee Smith. Frisbee Smith has it taken away. It's tied up of the basketball, but the rebounding, the story so far, which is what UVA has done, they kind of take the advantage on the glass as they'll get an N1 there. McLean again underneath. Here for William and Mary will send two players to the bench with two fouls. Now we got a whistle and a foul on the rebound. And you know, it shows out here from their actions and some of their play on the court. And Riley Casey knocks them both down. Long two on the way for Taylor. That's off the iron, but McLean there again. I believe she has more rebounds than our entire team at the moment with the, her seven boards comparison to our six. So we're going to have to really do a better job of getting on the boards with her. She's going to take this coast to coast and get fouled. To take a look at the fans that traveled down. They won just five games a season ago, so they've already doubled their win total, and they've already won an ACC game. They played Wake Forest. For Virginia as McCoska drives past her. Her floater won't go, but she got hacked, and will shoot two. Four of six from the free throw line this season. We'll miss the first. It was the first player in San Diego history with 1,400 points and 600 rebounds, assists. Valaday driving and laying it in for two. Her first two points of the game for UVA. Madison McGee, long two-point jumper. Has the range. She's got six to lead the way for the Tribe. Defense. As William Mary watch UVA inbound it. Pauly around a screen for a catch and shoot three from the top. Has the distance on that. Casey into the corner for Sydney Wagner three, but she was on the end line. Pauly thinking about another three. Again, not shy. She'll try it, doesn't have it. But Cameron Taylor has the rebound. Her putback is good. 
Gilliam pushing the pace for William and Mary. Tries to spin through the lane, but has it poked away by Caden Lawson. She'll take it herself now. It's good hands by Lawson there to be able to get her hand in there. Uh, Gilliam was going for the spin, uh, something that I'm not sure a whole lot of us were expecting, but she's, she's playing a really good game tonight. In 2021, her father Dante played football at Morgan State, but in her high school days, was a 2020 McDonald's All-American, Jordan Brand Classic All-American, and she was the Maryland Gatorade State Player of the Year, and has blossomed into her own player here at UVA, 12 points and 9.4 rebounds as Casey has her shot blocked underneath. Ball tipped up, it's the athletic play there by McLean. And they'll look to swing it in transition. Pauly underneath. Two more for her. And William Mary's going to call for the timeout. Riley Casey goes to work. Splits a double team. Kicks back to Sid for a three. Wagner in and out. Raw fouled on the rebound. She's fighting hard. The freshman has played well over the last three games. Anybody new to any college sport is huge. And uh, that's the best way to learn how to, how to become a better player is by getting out there in the game and, and playing in some live minutes. So... It's really good to see her out there and being able to be effective and help out the tribe some, you know, in, in this game here. Coming off a game where she set career and season highs and points and rebounds as McLean beats everyone down the floor and lays it in for two. Here McLean, double-double already, 15 points, 10 rebounds. As Gilliam fouled by Pauly, second foul on Katie Pauly. Gilliam at the stripe for William and Mary. Alliday from the top for three, no good. Another McLean rebound, and she's back to the line. The preseason injuries, Michaela Beckwith should be back in a few weeks here as conference play starts. For, who was injured earlier in the year is dressed tonight for the trial. But again, a guard as Wagner throws it away from Casey. The referee saved it in, and then a foul. Finally, Casey to the free throw line for William Mary with four points already tonight. 77% to start this year. Last 60 seconds of the first half. Looking inside for McLean again. Can't finish in close. Taylor with the rebound. Riley Casey step back. Jumper short. Might have gotten blocked. And by that reaction from UVA, it must have. As Vaughn drives. New Mary couldn't get another crack at it. About a Five second difference between games and shot clock. UVA making sure they get a good possession here to end this first 20 minutes. McLean back to Vaughn for the three, no good. Rebound, but a foul on the floor first. McLean back to the free throw line. Could be career high. She's a career high 15 rebounds, so two off of that here in the first half. Mary Mary will get one final look at it here as UVA has matched the largest lead. Casey off to Wagner. I don't think that will count, and it didn't go. And Valaday gets to the hoop to lay it in. She knows Casey's got those three fouls. Riley Casey will try a three. She's fouled. Let's we'll see if they could get caught up in this game a little bit as Riley Casey had the quick trigger there. They won't get three straight points here on the free throw. And that's good for Riley. Up to eight points to lead the way. Actually four because Winger's on hasn't checked in. She picked up three in the first half. As UVA goes to work, Taylor lays it in. Close for a, a good layup there. McGee will try the two from the free throw line, extend it, and knock it down. Taylor, turn around, no good. McLean, another rebound. This one tied up. William and Mary to try their best to not even allow her into, into the paint as the shot goes up. Nice steal on the inbound for Rebecca Frisbee-Smith. We'll send the try back the other way. Sid going to work. Kick back for Frisbee-Smith. That's a long two. That's strong. She's going to chase down her own rebound. Find Sydney Wagner, will try a floater for some range. Sid hits the first. And Sid will knock down the pair from the line. Looking inside, 
Frisbee Smith reads the pass. Another tie up. Yeah, no, William Mary has uh, been giving up their body a lot for, you know, the game as, as they've been taking charges, going in there, bumping a lot. They're just trying to get some shots to fall, and as Bradley Casey is able to get one to go there, they're trying to see more of that. First try player in double figures is Riley Casey. She's got 10. Caitlin Winger's on, and what she did illegally. Lawson, floater, ends the tribe run. Casey around the screen. Riley cut off. We'll lob it up for Madison McGee, but it was too tall. Prolific program out of the DMV. Jumper on the way. That's good. Casey stops and pops for three. Riley Casey leading the way for William and Mary. She's got 10 points for the Tribe. And take another look at that three. We've got a quick commercial break from Van Wagner. This is the Tribe Sports Network. Three-pointer in the corner. And a foul fighting for some position underneath. Same-day orthopedic appointments are available now. McGee, rather, with the second of two from the line. We'll hit that one. And Mary will counter with some pressure here. All day, we'll pass it into the corner for Kara Miller, three. That's strong. Rebound tipped around. Lawson has it. Swings it back up top for a three from Valaday, and that's good. Chance for Madison McGee here to match a career high with another bucket. And she'll catch and shoot and do so. 11 points for Madison McGee tonight. She'll take it coast to coast, stop at the free throw line, and they'll go inside. Clarkson this time is going to be fouled. Clarkson, 9 of 16 from the free throw line. She's a transfer in her senior season from Pflugerville, Texas. Coming off of a career high, 12 points. Brown's pass deflected. Frisbee Smith recovers and will try a three and knocks it down. It's a good shot there by uh, Frisbee Smith, able to come off the dribble after the tip pass, able to come up with a three and be able to knock it down for the try. Inside, Lawson spinning, finds Miller looking for the answer, and she has it. Game and shot clock, so William and Mary trying to make this the last possession of the quarter. Wagner off to Lonnie Brown for three. Too strong, and Miller has the rebound, nearly tied up. Miller will dribble three, and UVA will try a shot at the horn, and they bank it in. Alexia Smith in transition uses the square for two. In state New York games, you saw there in the bottom, Stony Brook, a new member of the CAA, and that's who the tribe will begin CAA play with. They still have a quarter and three more non conference games as Cameron Taylor, who's been cold tonight in terms of her scoring, will get two and push her point total up to six. Gilliam out there will find Frisbee Smith in the corner for a three. Frisbee Smith just made one, can't get the distance on that. UVA in transition, there's McLean again. She was quiet in that third quarter. Brunel spinning three and knocking it down, 13 for her. Bellamy splits a double team. Winger's on to work and Caitlin's got the two. Really good job there by Caitlin to put the ball on the ground and be able to get to her spot right there on the block to be able to knock down a nice layup. Brunel tries the three, but McLean's there underneath to give her 22. And Winger's on again from the free throw line. Dances on the rim, but won't go down. Holiday driving. Stop starts and lays it in for two more. It's the longest winning streak in program history since 1994-1995. And this 10-0 start continues its best start since 91-92 when the Cavaliers started 13-0. They add another bucket there out to their largest lead of the game of 33. Lacoska has her shot blocked by Lawson, and UVA will head back up the other way. Valade through the lane, can't get it to go. 
And Winger's on has the board. And we'll let McCoska slow it down. UVA only dresses 11 players. As Bra or sorry, Gilliam gets through and has her shot blocked. And then Holiday goes through and lays it in. Yeah, UVA, they really wanted to get out here, crash the boards, get those defensive rebounds, and turn them into quick uh, offensive points. So that was one of the things that they were able to do well tonight in the game. It's definitely part of the game plan that they were able to capitalize on. Sydney Wagner hitting for the foul. She got the three to go. We'll take another look, give her seven points on the night. She was ready to catch and shoot. Nice pass from Gilliam. And was hit by Pauly on that follow through and Sydney Wagner completes the four point play. William Mary just their third team fouls. Brunel drives the lane, that thing spun all the way but down. Cut off Wagner so they go to McCoska instead. She's got them both. Gilliam nearly steals it but UVA pushes it instead with Lawson. Lawson leaves it off for a jumper, that's good. Now down to seven, they got to get to work. Smith leaves it off underneath. And looks to replicate that here. She can't. Long rebound will be tipped around, and Lawson controls it for UVA. Smith driving, leaves it short. Frisbee Smith to McCoska for a three. No good. But uh, I'm sure that coach will be impressed with, uh, happy with the play of Madison McGee tonight as she's been able to contribute, you know, through multiple ways offensively as well as banging down there on the boards for a lot of the game. Lawson for UVA on that last trip down. Frisbee Smith tries to drive and has it blocked by Lawson. Rolf misses the first, one of two coming into the night. And she can't get that to go either. And three on the way from UVA that was off the mark from Lawson, tied up. Couldn't go quick and maybe get one more shot at it as Gilliam will drive, kicks over to Rolf for the long two. And Kayla Rolf. None of the Tribe fans know that they're in the house. As William and Mary will get one final look at it here, UVA is going to improve to 11-0 as McCoska gets free, and we'll get an N1. And yeah, McCoska's got a really good game. I like the way she gets to the lane. She has a good sh jump shot, and uh, she's real twitchy as a player, changing that tempo a lot as she dribbles. Frisbee Smith driving, floating, and a little too strong. Lawson will grab the rebound, and that's how it will end. UVA improving tonight to 11-0 for the first time on an 11-game winning streak since 1994-1995. It continues their best start since 1991-1992.